We have 72 orders going out, totaling a little over $1,700 in sales over the weekend. Stick around to the end of the video to find out what sold. These men's Ocean Pacific swim trunks sold for $17 plus shipping. This Armani underwear sold for $25 plus shipping. This Columbia vest sold for $17 plus shipping. This Perception Conception women's button-up shirt sold for $8 plus shipping. So I had a few people reach out wondering how I go about the process of acquiring these bulk clothing bales. And it was just an idea that came from a friend of calling thrift stores and seeing if they have any bulk clothing for sale or if, if they do any bulk bales for other wholesalers. So I got to calling around other thrift stores besides Goodwill just to kind of see the price point and how they went about their process. So I was able to contact St. Vincent de Paul and they have millions of pounds of clothing go through this distribution center every year and they wholesale all the clothing out that doesn't make the shelves that either has a defect on it or that has sat on the racks too long. So in my state there is no St. Vincent de Paul pay by the pound like what you would see with Goodwill and their Goodwill outlet. So they offer their bales at a wholesale discount. I think it's 15 to 17 cents per pound, depending on the season. And you're able to get a bale about 1,500 pounds to 2,000 pounds. And that comes out to about 200 to $250 per bale. And that supplies me with about 1,500 items every month. The only downside is, is you're going to need storage space to store the items, and as well as you're gonna have to consider the time it takes to sort through thousands of items to find the ones that are quality to be able to list on eBay. So Philip had reached out and I wanted to just elaborate more in detail about how I went about that. Call some of your local thrift stores, ask around, see what they're doing with their excess clothing, and you might be surprised on how cheap that they're letting these items go for, but it is gonna require the work of maybe even renting a U-Haul truck, some kind of box truck to be able to have the forklift load the clothing bale into the back of your uh, vehicle and you know just other things that go into buying bulk you're going to need space you're going to need sorting space you're going to need a process to be able to handle all of that amount of clothing and I made that decision to switch because I was just not having enough time to be driving an hour and a half to my next nearest Goodwill outlet or Goodwill bins or even thrift store for that matter I needed to be able to cut down on driving time. So once a month, I order a couple bales, rent a U-Haul, drive about two hours away and load up. All right, so these Dickies pants sold for 14 plus shipping. 11, 5, 1, 6. There we go. So if you're just getting started on eBay, you might be feeling a little overwhelmed on what items to be picking up and how to start generating sales. Well, you could check out linked in the description down below where I'm offering a free seven day trial of my eBay coaching. I work with you Monday through Friday, five hours a week, helping you put the same system and process that I put in place to help me generate $178,000 in sales reselling used clothing on eBay last year. Included in that is an eBay store review and a reseller spreadsheet. And if you're getting value in the group and you're wanting to continue on with your eBay education, it's just $1 a day after that. You can find it linked in the description down below and I'd love to see you there. So I have a lot of these items in my store on big discount, 50, 60, 70% off. This was from about a year ago, finishing up this type of inventory system and then eventually switching to the sequential numerical system that you see over there. But anytime I get an order here, it's usually on the bottom. So we have E3, an order sold for $4 Sport Haley shorts. So just something to keep in mind if you're still doing the bin system and you were looking to build up your store, maybe start looking to get some kind of 
easier way to pack and pull your items, something that's going to save you more time and also be better on your body, your neck, your back, because lifting up these bins when they're 30, 40, 50 pounds every day, time and time again, is going to lead to some wear and tear on your body. So maybe start thinking one, two, three years ahead. Hey, maybe I should start investing into some racks, some of these boxes, and it's just going to make your life that much easier as a part-time or full-time reseller. Just listed this yesterday as an Echo Thermal shirt, men's extra large, sold for $17.95 plus shipping. Now that's a brand that has gone in and out of style over the last 20 years, and I hear it's making a comeback. So anything Echo, FUBU, Fat Farm, kind of those big extra large men's fashion wear streetwear is making a comeback. So 12776. And yeah, you know, this, <clears throat> these items that are usually selling, um, you know, on this rack here, those are processed items that came from a bulk buyout back in August where I bought 10,000 pounds of clothing for pennies on the dollar. But it did take up until now to finish sorting. That's what you see all this behind me here. This is a reject pile. This is a wash pile. And just now finishing up um, getting through all that clothing. So if you are considering buying bulk, take into account that the time it is going to take to process all of it. So I've held off on buying any new product up until within this last month. This women's H&M denim jacket sold for $8 plus shipping. And Taylor loft pants sold for a whopping $3 plus shipping. So a subscriber named Jonathan asks, do I need a store subscription to be able to do markdown sales and do coupons? And the answer is yes, you do. But even at $5 a month, which is the basic eBay store subscription, you're able to open your store up to many other things like the performance tab which can track some of your analytics to see how you're doing and as well as doing those markdown sales for older stale inventory and sending out coupons and applying a daily coupon to your store so for just five dollars a month it is worth it because what you get back is so much more so for example this is an ann taylor pair of pants that's over three bucks right that's nothing so I got this from the Goodwill outlet. So I paid a dollar or less, but it sat around forever. It was on a 60% markdown sale, but still sold eight months later, four, three, six, seven. And that's the power of using those markdown sales is being able to take items that were bad purchases and being able to at least mark them down until they do sell. This Woolrich women's shirt sold for $12.56 plus shipping. This Anthropology women's sweatpants sold for $15 plus shipping at $12.675. Right here. Anthropology is a great brand to be picking up. Some of their items are saturated and slower sell through rate. But if you're paying a dollar or less, not a bad flip. I listed this about a week ago turning a dollar into what 15 plus shipping so as these rows fill up i just grab another box to keep packing and pulling these nautica men's chino pants sold for 18 dollars plus shipping five nine six three so nautica is not a brand that i'm usually going to be picking up but in that storage unit a couple months back this person had tons of nautica five nine five three i got it so Nautica can be an okay brand if you're looking up, maybe search Nautica on eBay and sort from highest to lowest, and you'll be able to find some of those different models that are within that brand that sell better than others. But for the most part, Nautica is a very slow selling brand and would not really recommend picking it up unless you do some more research. So this is a brand that can sell really well, but these are some women's shorts. They were distressed, even had some stains on them by the brand called Can Can, sold for $9 plus shipping. And it's stuff like that where you might find a good brand, but it may be flawed. And that's kinda up to you whether you wanna list it or not. 
I run most of my clothing through the wash and I drop in some OxyClean and that helps get out any stains. But if it is a strong brand like Can Can, um, if there is a stain, I will probably still list it. Um, so this was listed maybe a couple months ago and took a best offer of $9. So this is the type of stuff that can come out of those bales, but you might have to check extra for flaws, holes, or there's a reason why it's in those bales. Either it didn't sell on the racks at the retail thrift store, or it had some type of flaw that they did not want to put it on the racks in the first place. So 10, 7, 10. What are you all doing to source your inventory? I know there's many ways to find quality clothing, shoes, electronics, CDs, video games. What are you doing to kind of improve your sourcing habits? Are you spending time researching um, other ways to find your items? Are you going on Craigslist, going on Facebook, reaching out the thrift stores? Maybe starting a junk removal service is in your future, but Figure out and always be innovating and in ideas on how to get better in your sourcing. Don't ever just stay the same because nothing in life ever stays the same. Change is inevitable. Things are constantly changing, so therefore you need to be constantly innovating, improving, and changing and pushing forward in your business. A men's button-up shirt by the brand American Rag sold for $14 plus shipping. This brand is not very good, but surprised it sold. So I love combined orders. These are some Timberland Softshell Windbreakers, all new with tags, sold for $70 plus $18.95 shipping. I have had these jackets for quite some time. Timberland is such a slower sell-through rate for me. And you know, these were listed for about six to eight months and just happy to get them out of my store and just to reinvest this profit back into better, faster selling items. So these Hudson women's jeans sold for $18 plus shipping. It is $12,600. Hudson is a really nice brand to be picking up if you're not familiar with it. They make men's and women's jeans that sell typically between $30, $50 to $100. If you find the brand Hudson, you might want to do your research, but it's most of the time worth looking into and picking up. These Calvin Klein men's underwear sold for another $18 plus shipping. So I don't normally pick up any kind of underwear, but this storage unit had plenty of Calvin Klein underwear. So if you ever are outsourcing and you find new in box Calvin Klein underwear, they can sell for pretty good profit. This North Face men's long sleeve t-shirt sold for $17.95 plus shipping. So North Face is some of the items that I've been finding in that 10,000 pound buyout just takes a lot of sorting and getting used to getting through all of those items to find the good stuff. So if you're a new beginner reseller, you should be picking up North Face. Checking comps though first and making sure it's profitable for you. Don't wanna be overpaying for things like this. I had another subscriber reach out, what type of boxes do I use? What size of boxes do I use? These are Boxes that I order off Amazon, you can find them linked in the description down below, and they are eight by eight by 32, and they cost me about $2.20 per box. I order about 200 of them at a time, and they come free shipped to your door. You can order them also off Uline, though they are a little bit more expensive as the shipping cost does kill the deal. So shout out to whoever is looking to get into the system. I highly recommend it as it's gonna save a lot of time when it comes to the pooling and packing process. Had this Kenneth Cole jacket sell for $59 plus shipping. It is 8950. Kenneth Cole is another brand that I would usually pass up on not the fastest sell through rate, um, decent average sale price on some of their stuff, but if I'm paying a dollar or less, I might consider it, but I'm not gonna be paying up for much of anything branded Kenneth Cole. Also another thing too is like, I'm happy to do a deep discount on some of these jackets because I'm really trying to focus on maximizing my space here. You know, I really have four full racks of jackets, about 200, 250 jackets. And with the warmer weather coming up, I'm looking to sell out on a lot of these jackets, taking 50% off. This Swiss Army Victor Knox watch sold for $100 plus shipping, came from the storage unit, and just needs a new battery. So I had it listed for 149, and took a best offer of 100. 
All right, these Lee jeans sold for $12.56 plus shipping. I had just listed them maybe a month ago, and I am focusing more on men's jeans. It is one of the categories that I've been selling the most of for the last few years on eBay. And if the jeans are in good condition, but it's a lower tier brand like Lee, I will still list them between $14 and $17. So this I took a best offer and 12293. I just really want to avoid not holding the item for too long. So if they could sell rather quickly at a deep discount, I'm happy with that. I am getting for I'm getting most of my items for less than a dollar. These Vigos women's jeans sold for $17 plus shipping, 8805. So this brand is an okay brand. Some of the models within this brand sell better than others. This kind of was a slower selling item for me. Took about six months to sell. But whenever you can find jeans with this kind of cool, heavy embroidery on the back, definitely worth looking into, even if the brand sucks. Just with this type of style with this point flat pocket. This is a men's black diamond jacket, sold for $18 plus shipping. Black Diamond's a decent brand to be on the lookout for. Some of their jackets can sell really well. This men's Orvis t-shirt sold for $10 plus shipping. So I'm always picking up Nike no matter what, but if you can look out for these Pro Combat Series shirts, they can have higher resale value and a better sell-through rate. So this sold for $18 plus shipping, 11.926. And just doing the extra research on some of the brands that you are selling, if you are just able to type in Nike and then sort from highest to lowest, type in Levi's, sort from highest to lowest, Doing this on eBay is going to help you become more aware of what items within that brand are selling for high prices. What are the desirable models of that brand that are worth looking into? So Nike Pro Combat would be one of them. And anytime I see it, I pick it up. A lady had reached out a while back saying, what size is the board? How do I make one? This is so simple. It's just a, a simple one inch piece of plywood cut out four and a half by five and a half feet wide. And I just put a simple cotton tan blanket, stapled it to the backside and it works. I would suggest making it a bit wider. Um, and that is something that I'm going to be doing over my next couple weeks, looking into getting a bigger board for some of those bigger items like jackets, plus size clothing and whatnot. But it's nothing simple to get started. You can use what you have lying around in your house, maybe hang it on the wall for now. But I'm able to tilt this board at an angle so I'm able to just stand right here, take my photos and not have to like really overwork my neck or my back when it comes to putting the garment on the board here and then placing it off to the side. So really just maybe look around your house, look in your backyard, see what you have, but this is nothing fancy. Go to Home Depot, buy either those styrofoam insulation boards or you can buy a piece of plywood like this, cut it to how you want it to fit your space, but definitely recommend putting it at an angle so you're able to put the garments on there and work, measure, do the fabric shaver, do the lint roller, and not have to break your back when you're taking photos. All right, so one of these orders is lost. We need to find it. It is an Abercrombie & Fitch women's pair of jeans. And I'm thinking it's somewhere around here. Oh yeah, of course. That's where I store all my inventory, in the snow. So this sold for $7 plus shipping. Love picking up this brand. These are some diesel pair of pants, sold for $31 plus shipping. They are just some camo, regular pair of pants, but love picking up this brand whenever I can find it. All right, so somewhere down here is a pair of Levi's jeans. 3854. These Levi pair of pants sold for $22 plus shipping. So this men's international concepts jacket sold for $20 plus shipping. And not normally picking up that brand, but when you do buy bulk, some of the brands make it in. And this was new with tags. So yeah, men's large, just a regular cotton style blazer. You know, this brand is hit and miss. If you're paying a dollar maybe it's worth picking up but wouldn't recommend spending too much for this brand 
This Zara women's dress sold for $24 plus shipping. Are you picking up Zara to resell online? This brand is kind of a slower seller for me, but worth picking up if you're paying a dollar. Love picking up this brand to resell on eBay. It's Adriana Goldsmead. These are some men's corduroys sold for $70 plus shipping. This brand is an awesome one to be on the lookout for. Some of their jeans can sell for upwards of $100. Here are some vintage Polo Ralph Lauren jeans sold for $28 plus shipping. I build the foundation of my business on some of the most basic brands like Ralph Lauren, Nike, Levi's, North Face. Some of those brands are just, you think, oh, those are pretty common items. And you wouldn't think that you could make generating six figures reselling those types of brands on eBay. But also remember that these brands pay millions of dollars in marketing material every year to sell their brands. So you might want to take a look at some of those big brands that are in these malls and double check some of their items that do have a higher sell through rate and then focus on those brands. Polo Ralph Lauren jeans. So some of the most simplest brands you can make great money on. Another Torrid women's polyester button-up shirt sold for $12 plus shipping. Always picking up this brand. Another pair of men's jeans sold. These are some Wranglers new with tags sold for $18 plus shipping. These Timberland boots sold for $38 plus shipping. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren jacket sold for $60 plus shipping. So this model of Polo Ralph Lauren the polo jeans are more of the lower tier type of model when it comes to this brand. Um, so if you do pick it up, maybe double check to see if it is even worth um, hitting your metrics as far as sell through rate and average sale price. But you know, this came in in a storage unit buyout, so kind of have to just sit on it and wait till it sells. This took a good eight months to sell. These Old Navy compression leggings sold for $12 plus shipping. <laughs> So the main things that I use in my shipping station are going to be these 12 by 15 poly bags for anything first class weighing anything under one pound will be shipped in this bag. These are some uh, 10 by 12 eBay poly bags that I get for free from my store subscription on eBay. These are good for like women's tops or men's small shirts. They can kind of help cut down on some of the waste instead of using one of these big bags that works well for like lightweight sweaters and puffer jackets that don't weigh over a pound. Everything else is basically free from USPS.com. I have some medium flat rate boxes that are great for big heavy duty jackets and shoes. And I mainly use the USPS priority flat rate envelope for anything like men's jeans, women's jeans, anything weighing over a pound that would fit in here. I rarely use these uh, padded flat rate mailers but in special cases I'll use those and then these have saved me time and time again are these legal flat rate envelopes that are great for like sweaters uh, hoodies some types of jackets will fit in here that are like windbreakers so that can be good to have as a backup but that's basically it nothing too fancy. You can find all of these supplies down linked in the description down below. And if you do buy it, then a little bit goes back into supporting the channel. And I'm very thankful, but you don't need anything fancy to be shipping out hundreds of pieces of clothing every day. Oh, and if you are looking for a thermal printer, this is the Rolo wired thermal printer printed over 10,000 orders on this printer without fail. All right, so most of these brands are pretty simple, right? And if you're just getting started and you have no idea what to be picking up, check out this video here where it goes over my top 10 brands to be reselling on eBay in 2023. Have a blessed rest of the day and take care.